another Inside Music Row. Today, we'll hit up Second Harvest with Martina McBride, and we'll also check out the annual T.J. Martell Honors Gala. Finally, we'll visit with Mountain Heart as they give a contest winner a concert to remember. All this and more coming up Inside Music Row. Hey there, I'm Bailey, and I'm so glad you joined us for another Inside Music Row. We've got a great show today, so let's get started with next month's CMA Music Festival. If you haven't gotten your tickets yet, you should get them quickly. The lineups for all four nightly concerts at LP Field are incredible, and there's so much stuff going on around town that you won't want to miss it. Check out CMAFest.com for more info on the event, which will be downtown June 9th through the 12th. Taylor Swift leads the country nominees for the 2011 Billboard Music Awards with seven nominations. Lady Annabella, Jason Aldean, Sugarland, and Zac Brown Band are also nominated in multiple categories. Catch the Billboard Music Awards May 22nd from the MGM Grand Garden Arena in Las Vegas live on ABC. Toby Keith is heading overseas again, this time taking his locked and loaded 2011 world tour on a dozen European dates. He will hit up the UK, the Netherlands, Germany, Finland, Sweden, Norway, and Denmark on the tour, which kicks off October 30th in Edinburgh. Chris Young is now back home after taking his piece of home tour through Iraq and Kuwait. This was Chris's second Stars for Stripes tour to entertain U.S. troops deployed overseas. He performed with his full band at five camps, plus traveled to many forward operating bases where many artists aren't able to travel. He made sure to bring along tons of iTunes gift cards for the troops, which were donated by his fans. Now it's time to go inside the song. Lee Bryce has written lots of great hits, both for himself and for other artists like Garth Brooks. He co-wrote a powerful song called Beautiful Every Time, which has gotten a lot of attention. So we asked him a little bit about that special song. Co-wrote that with a guy named Rob Hatch and Lance Miller. Rob Hatch is a short little redneck dude, and I mean redneck now, and tough and strong and manly, but he came to me one day and said, Lee, I got a title beautiful every time. I said, well, what is it? He said, he said, and he grew up around the beaches his whole life. So that's something that you can take for granted, maybe. He said, Lee, I walked out of the beach the other day and I grew up around him, so I shouldn't have done it, but I walked over the hill and there was the ocean and it took my breath away. Even though I've been there my whole life around the ocean. And he said, and I just thought to myself, now that's beautiful every time. And, I, and then I, so he told me that story. And I'm like, well, there's a couple other things that you can say that are beautiful every time. And we just told his story, really. We told that story. And, uh, and uh, it, so I think the song ended up being a real honest, a real honest song and soulful and uh, one of my favorites on the album. And so now it's rocking along with us. Yeah, Time. It's quickly feeling like summertime around here, which means there are tons of artists on tour right now. Let's take a quick peek at who's going where and when. to take a quick little break, but before we go, I want to let you in on this week's drawing for new music. We have a few copies of Mountain Hearts That Just Happened EP up for grabs. So if you want to enter this week's drawing, you have to enter online at InsideMusicRoad.com. We're heading over to Second Harvest Food Bank next for a visit with Martina McBride, so don't go away. We'll be back in a sliver.